Okay. Um, so I'm Gosha, I'm the founder of Asset Management Systems. It's a small consultancy supporting clients um, in the investment and property management sector with identifying asset management strategies um, for the property and operational effectiveness. Uh, so over the last 15 years, I've been working in construction, uh, commercial real estate and transport sectors, improving asset performance, quality of design uh, and construction to drive results and profitability. Um, so today I, will, I would like to share with you um, an approach related to responding to changes in the supply and demand uh, on the market. Uh, so in my earlier days as a senior asset manager, um, I have learned that my decisions are as good as the efforts uh, I put into investigating the context for the projects. So understanding the circumstances that influence our decisions uh, is essential and will benefit everyone long term um, and ensure project uh, profitability. So at present, we are facing a dramatic shift in the direction of travel um, that we have never seen before. So the impact of pandemic, uh, Brexit and technological progress are transformational to our industry. Um, so the hottest topic, uh, of course, is the long term direction of travel and review of new investment strategies, especially um, where there is an oversupply of office and retail stock and where the demand has shifted uh, towards people working from home and living more locally. Uh, this trend has significantly impacted the industry, but it also opened up opportunities and need for repurposing of old uh, stock rather than building new properties in few cases. It is also almost one time life, uh, it was one um, opportunity to improve people's well-being um, and work-life balance. So today um, I will talk a little bit more about the uh, trends, the shifts in the market um, and review um, of options um, that you might find uh, useful for your decision making. So there are six core uh, factors that shape our reality today and impact on our short and long term decisions where property is always a, a long term game. Um, so those trends um, drive, drive the demand uh, on the market for uh, buildings and the, prop and the use of property. Um, so if we go through each one of them in uh, short detail. So when we look at the political trends uh, due to COVID outbreak and hard Brexit on the horizon, the unknown uh, position of the UK on the global scene, we're looking at the long-term uncertainty of political scene. However, the key uh, themes for the UK PLC are CO2 reduction, driving innovation, research and design towards clean growth um, and low carbon technologies in all aspects of, um, of life. The um, impact of COVID on the economy um, had dramatic outcomes for the property and construction sector. Um, initial lockdown, social distancing and quarantine measures shifted the working habits from office to working from home, um, further creating a domino effect almost of changing customer behaviors to online shopping, um, home deliveries and dependency on super fast uh, broadband. So as a result, um, education, retail, entertainment venues, gyms, swimming pools, transport link and commercial real estate have been have, um, largely come to a standstill and facing oversupply and therefore reducing needs for new construction projects. So from the uh, social uh, trend perspective, um, we're looking at increase of world population. So by 2030, and the world's population will rise by 1 billion. So more than half of the uh, world population will live in urban areas, uh, which will significantly increase demand for affordable housing, micro neighborhoods, um, and alternative accommodation in urban uh, areas. And the predictions are that by 2025, 
digital technologies like sensors detecting environmental conditions, hive solutions, um, and management of information from those devices will reach up to 8 billion in sales. Uh, digital disruption and the customer need for plug and play systems in properties um, will highly likely force investors to rethink how they invest, design, build and operate properties to still attract buyers um, or rental market. Um, as the world becomes more populous and urbanized, the um, demand for energy, food and water will rise. So um, the environmental factors will become uh, really important to address. So managing the population impact on the planet and reducing CO2 emissions will further uh, drive a more to, to reuse, recycle, repurpose different types of uh, buildings and actually waste from buildings uh, itself. Um, there is an emerging trend called circular economy um, that leads to creation of new and second-hand markets for actually raw buildings materials. Um, as you might be aware, there is a new legislation in place since the beginning of September introducing changes to uh, planning permission for non-residential and residential developments. Um, so the legal trend um, and leads to uh, increasingly uh, common solutions that will um, enable us to change use of property, especially from office uh, B1 to residential C3, and to the make most of the um, subject market for retail and office space, and turn them into housing or local schools, um, or where there is a demand for more of local public services. Um, so those changes make planning process simpler uh, and more straightforward. Um, and so it is important to keep an eye also on the uh, new building safety bill, um, environmental standards that will impact um, sellability of property in the near future. Um, and developers are also encouraged to provide accommodation that meets uh, permitted development guidelines um, at least. So the, quick, the key question is how to respond to those trends and what strategies we can adapt to drive investment profits. Um, there is, of course, infinite number of um, options um, and individual context of each project. Um, but the key is to address all the uh, challenges at the same time and offer customers an integrated um, value proposition. So an integrated uh, proposition and offer uh, for customers is an investment strategy um, specifying how your project addresses the, um, the key six trends in the project strategic brief or a business case. Um, so to provide a unique offer to the uh, property buyers or rental market, the investment strategy should provide overall project requirements that give investors um, bottom line benefits. And so um, integrating all requirements into one brief and calculating upfront all the costs for the design, construction and maintenance um, reduces overall investment costs, uh, takes out the duplication, costly changes, perhaps the operational phase um, reduces of, uh, reputational damage and actually um, takes down the overspend uh, and customer complaints. Um, there is also approximately 20% saving um, on the overall investment due to the strategic decisions made at the beginning of the project. So um, having an investment strategy um, and a strategic brief to support it enables to have a sanity checkpoints and make sure the project is fit for purpose, meets all the requirements throughout all the phases of design, construction and maintenance. Um, strategic brief is also a great place to secure uh, maintenance of service, uh, statutory compliance before practical completion, um, which enables customers of boarding really early 
um, an actually rent collection without rent-free periods. Um, it also opens up doors for um, R&D funding um, and actually improves the uh, quality of the build should people look into improving and solving problems, um, but actually understanding the context really early. So investment strategy is also beneficial to the customers. Um, efficiently delivered projects with uh, cost balance between capital and operational phases uh, can have lower purchase or rental price. Um, a well-established uh, places have lower maintenance costs. Um, installing the right equipment reduces the cost of utilities. Um, looking into putting in technology like Hive or internet controlled wide goods gives the end user flexibility in managing their bills and usage um, and actually takes uh, reduces overall environmental impact. Um, and there is of course the super fast broadband that offers the plug and play lifestyle, uh, an opportunity to work from home and access to um, other commodities. So considering everything we spoke about, um, you might be wondering how good looks like and what results can be expected from an integrated value proposition. So building um, a sustainable um, and environmental solutions that reduce CO2 levels means that we need more um, properties that are well insulated. They have alternative energy systems uh, built into the uh, property. So it could be solar, uh, micro power generation, um, solar assisted heating, low energy lighting, uh, plug and play points for uh, electric cars. Um, often people are willing to trade in some places if the location is right and the rent is achievable. Um, a green eco-friendly building with community spaces uh, can address occupants' well-being. There is obviously a need for maintenance of gardens and green spaces in the overall uh, cost models. So again, having the strategic brief and working through um, all those requirements in the early stages um, it gives us the sort of clarity and space um, and just leaves us without surprises uh, later on. Uh, plug and play spaces with uh, super fast broadband and uh, innovative IT solutions to control interior comfort um, and energy usage are definitely in uh, demand with more and more people working from home um, and keeping this place cool in the summer uh, is a prerogative uh, for well-being and healthier uh, living. So a good design with low operating costs can uh, make, for example, uh, micro apartments um, a really nice place to live uh, and especially where there is a, a communal space, um, nature, um, and those spaces present networking opportunities for socializing um, or having a green breakout spaces. So small, but with um, community spaces where people can mingle, meet for a coffee um, and spend time together. Um, so change of use is becoming the uh, new normal in light of changes in planning regulations and the demand and supply. Um, so we need to think a little bit outside of the box, um, how we address oversupply of office and retail uh, building stock um, and act on new types of investment strategies. Um, so I have selected a few uh, options uh, to show you uh, what can be done with um, already existing properties that can be converted and repurposed. Um, so this is uh, Abundant Church, which is now a super computer um, and a data center. Um, hotel in a train uh, station with rooms inside each car. Again, reusing old uh, things, remanufacturing, um, looking at recycling, um, and actually bringing the history of places into the um, new developments and proposals. Um, apartment building that used to be a school uh, where all the lockers got repurposed for, um, for the uh, new tenants. Um, 
an old YMCA gym, uh, still with probably few opportunities for playing basketball in the corridor. That is now uh, an apartment uh, block. Um, an old swimming pool uh, converted into apartments. And probably one of the most popular at the moment, uh, which is a, a, an empty office block converted into new um, housing. So the key uh, takeaways um, from, uh, from the presentations are having an integrating investment strategy is really important to actually identify how your project addresses all of the uh, trends that are happening on the market. Um, an efficiently delivered project with cost balance between the uh, capital and operational phases um, improves overall profitability, especially if you, if, if you are a landlord who stays and manages the property later on. Um, but also when it's um, property that is being sold, then it's good to uh, say what the profitability margins are because they've been cost modeled uh, really early. So it gives the new investors and purchasers the clarity about how much money they can make from it. Um, there is approximately 20% saving achieved from those strategic decisions made at the beginning of the project um, and they dare to reduce the overall investment, but also to uh, manage our duplication um, and overspend on costly changes in the maintenance phase. Um, an integrated value proposition um, is also the investment strategy that enables to be specific in the strategic brief about how the project addresses market demand and customer needs therefore making the desired product uh, for people to buy or rent um, and future home for money. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, third Monday of every month, we, uh, we, we get together uh, for a network meeting and we have three speakers. If you'd like to present at one of them, please let me know. All my contact details can be found at the end of this message. I hope to see you soon.